Here we are again. Thought I'd do something a little bit different this time. I'm going to harvest some honey from my flow hive. You can see all the bees flying around me. Let me give you a look at where I am. This is the beehive. See, they're pretty busy. It's a nice hot day. The smell of honey is amazing. Let me move it around to the back so you can get a better look. Let me give you a look at the side view first. See them in there? See the honey glistening? Very busy. So what I'm going to do is, this is a little bit of an early harvest. But I want to capture early because I want to get some of this stuff done early. So, if we have a look in the back here, you can see this one, this one, and this one quite full. See, in fact, they've started to cap the ends. Okay, so the end ones. They're only full in the middle, not quite to the end yet. So these, these two, I'd say these one, five, and six are not ready to tap yet. But two, three, and four are ready to tap. So I'm gonna get my bucket set up here behind it, get the flute board in, and get cranking. Okay, so first things first, you put the flute board at the top setting. This is to catch any extra honey that might drip down so they can then easily clean that up. It's gonna get a bit hot in there, but there you go. Right, next, take out the caps for the ones that I'm gonna do, which is two, three, and four. Those there. Then install my bucket that I've set up and the tubes go in with this little lip face down. If you look closely, you might just be able to see their little tongues probably sticking out. So these are going to go in here and just block them from leaking like so. And then Pull those out a little bit. There you go. So that will sit nicely once all the honey starts flowing in there. It's on a five degree angle, so it's, it's really going to flow well down here. Now next, I take my key. And I take these caps out at the top of each one that I want to have access to. And then I'm going to crack the cells open. So I'm going to start with this left one. I'm not going to go all the way. I'm going to do about halfway. And you're going to see this split. You're going to see it start draining immediately. There you go. And then I'm going to do this one halfway. And number four. Now it might be quite slow at the beginning and thick because it's manuka. And manuka honey runs very slowly. So soon, oh there's the honey now. So I can see the honey on the first one. It's a bit shaded. You'll see it come down. And there it is, starting to drip down there. There's the honey for this one. And that one's starting to come out now as well, number four. I can hear it dripping into the bucket now. Now this is gonna go full on. Uh, it's gonna get pretty busy in there. So now that I've opened those ones up, I can probably open the others up. Get those flying all the way. So the key all the way to the back now. Crack that open, there you go. This doesn't hurt the bees at all. Even the bees that are in there at the time. It just gently 
presses them, it doesn't do anything. They can crawl back out again. But because this is a full frame of honey, there won't be any bees in there anyway. Right, that's all of the frames now opened with the key. And that's all gonna flow now. Depending on how thick it is, how full it is, uh, we'll have to see how long that's gonna take. But those tubes should completely fill with honey. And then you're going to see something, uh, you see a lot of honey come out of there. Now it's just a question of waiting. Now the reason I've got my little towel here is to close off just these two holes because they'll smell the honey in there. So I will do that from this side so you can see clearly. Still see the tubes running there. So, now it's just a waiting game. So we've been going a few minutes now. I uh, thought you might like to see the progress. Still flowing, as you can see. The honey is filling up the bucket there. I've got Bruce helping me do all this, haven't I, Bruce? Brucey, come here. Come and say hello to everyone. Here. Here's Bruce. Hopefully, he doesn't get stung. Go around, go on. Good boy. Um, the bees just carry on as normal. Nothing, nothing changed. They're fanning away, keeping the hive cool. Busy bees. But you see, it doesn't affect them at all. Whereas traditionally, uh, when you're harvesting honey, quite a few would die. You have to pull the whole thing apart and uh, they find it all very irritating. So what I'm gonna do now is put the key and the racks back uh, to normal so that uh, they can carry on filling and repairing the cracks that I've just created with the key. So you just put the key back in all the way and turn it back again. Now this won't affect the honey flow at all, that's going to flow regardless. You can't stop it once it starts flowing. All this does is reset the cells so any bees that are in there can now crawl out and they'll start fixing all of the cracks before they put any more honey in there. And it's that simple. Each frame, when completely full, uh, gives I think it's about two, two and a bit kilos of honey maybe two and a half kilos of honey. I'll have to tell, I'll have to weigh the, uh, the bucket when it's done, but that's gonna flow for quite a while now. Um, so I'll come back to you again when it's finished. Okay, so it's been going about 15, about 15 minutes. It's all finished now. Uh, let me show you what's going on there. Little droplet at the bottom, but that's pretty much stopped. Fair amount in there. That'll be uh, about three kilos, maybe four actually. So it's a big bucket. But what happens is because they now have to repair all that, um, they tend to come outside because the flute boards at the bottom and they need to clean up. So this is what it looks like outside now. And there they all are bearding. But that's normal when it's hot and all the honey flows they have to fix it they'll go out and get more nectar if we have a look in the side here these guys should all be okay pretty much unaffected because i didn't tap this one so you see they're all full there but these guys they're all coming out cooling themselves down and they're going to go and do their work again fix the cracks and fill it up with honey fill it up with nectar again 
So what I'm going to do is shut this all down, seal it back up. I'm going to leave the flute board in the bottom uh, because there's probably honey on there. Let them clean that all up and go and weigh this honey. I'll come back to you then. So it's all closed up at the back. What I'm going to do is just have a quick look at the flute board and see if there's any honey on there. Just to see how much dripped down. Oh, there's a tiny bit. Okay, there's a tiny bit there. So, actually what I might do is take that away so they get some air. So I don't know if you can see that very small bit. I'll have to take that in before the bees come to get that. And that's it. I'm going to leave that now like that for maybe another four weeks and then do the tap again. It's a beautiful day for it. Isn't it, Bruce? That's right. Beautiful day for it. Okay, so just want to quickly weigh that. Basically 2.3 kilos. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful honey. Nice and warm. It's about an inch high. About an inch high in there. Okay, till next time.